What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Into the Light roadmap for Destiny 2. First of all, let's talk about when Into the Light launches. This this will be launching this Tuesday, April the 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time here in the United States and 6 p.m. BST in Europe. Uh, the Destiny 2 Into the Light update will be pretty much a kind of a uh, update that will add things from now until the end of May. So let's talk a little bit about what we can expect to be coming to the game over the next two months. Of course, a new onslaught mode, a new three-player wave-based activity, the Brave Arsenal, a selection of 12 fan-favorite weapons, uh, Destiny 2 Year 1 inspired armor sets for all classes, the return of the Super Black Shader and a new title and also a new seal to earn, a new social space, the Hall of Champions, uh, with new rewards, of course. The Whisper and Zero Hour exotic missions return with craft, uh, craftable exotic options. Uh, the Pantheon, this is something that was mentioned uh, just a few days ago uh, in the latest TWAB, and that is a weekly rotating raid boss gauntlet, and that will be releasing on April the 30th. They have not given us a lot of detail yet, but they said it will be something that you can use either a, a group that you know, you're know you playing with or actually use the fire team finder to find a group. But it's going to be raid bosses that you can go in and actually fight, and it's going to be on a weekly rotating uh, kind of schedule. Three new PvP maps and a 3v3 playlist for those maps. New player uh onboarding changes or pretty much character recustomization you'll be able to change your existing character's appearance pretty much for the most part there's a few things that you will not be able to change but there's a lot of things that you will be able to redo with that character or your original character that you character that you have made and the release of update 7.3.6 featuring sandbox changes and quality of life changes and the great thing about this is this is going to be free for everyone. So all of this stuff that I just mentioned is going to be free for anyone that plays Destiny. So you don't have to purchase any kind of DLC or anything like that. Another good thing is this stuff will remain in the game. All the PvE and PvP content. Not only is it going to be free, it's going to you know, help fill that gap between you know the delay of the final shape, which is not going to be released until the first of june or june the fourth excuse me but it's also going to be things that are going to stay in the game that are going to be free for all players and that's going to be a really good thing i think uh to kind of once again fill the gap of time we have from you know the end of kind of this long season we've already had in game but also it's going to add some things into the game that are going to be able to be played you know even after uh the new update or the new story DLC drops in the final shapes. You're still going to be able to go back and participate in these activities. I'm going to be kind of curious to see if they continue to update Onslaught. Uh, that's something a lot of people have wanted in the game for a really long time. Uh, a lot of people were talking about a horde mode in Destiny 1. So way back in the day, people were even talking about this. So I'm curious to see how often they're going to update this and if they're going to change the weapons eventually. We know we're having those 12 fan favorite weapons returning I'm curious to see if they're going to continue to bring weapons back. I think this would be a great way to bring back a lot of the sunset stuff in game and just have it all put back into the game because a lot of us, I think, will agree that sunsetting is not a thing that a lot of people in the community like. And this is a good way, I think, for them to kind of return this stuff to the game. And hopefully that's what they're going to do. But also, I'm kind of curious about the Pantheon. They have not mentioned, like I said, a whole lot about this. They just gave us a little bit of information about it and it is going to be like i said pretty much a a weekly uh a weekly kind of a, a event where you can go in and, and face off against a raid boss it says they've only shared a few words about pantheon the new raid boss gauntlet starting on april the 30th you will have the opportunity to face raid bosses in weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards this is a chance to rally your clan or use the fire team finder to take on this challenge. So that I can give more details when it gets closer to the 30th of April. Hopefully that's going to be something that remains in the game as well. 
in my opinion, it will give people a kind of the opportunity. Maybe if you have not played raids in the past, maybe you don't have a group to play with, uh, kind of an opportunity to go and face some of these challenging raid bosses you would see uh, inside of these game, uh, raids in the game. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about the Into the Light roadmap. There's a lot of content here, and this is getting a lot of people in the community kind of optimistic about the future of Destiny 2. And I'm kind of cautiously optimistic, I would think. Uh, it's probably how I really feel. It looks really good right now. Everything's looking great for the Into the Light update. I'm just wondering if Bungie can kind of stay on this kind of course with a lot of a lot of content. That That's going to be the biggest, I think, uh, challenge for them and, of course, the community. Because the community is going to see all of this free content coming out. And unfortunately, when you start dropping this much stuff, a lot of people are going to expect this going forward uh, when the final shape is released. And hopefully they can continue with great quality content and great updates uh, in the future. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.